Are AI on the battles back? Yes, I think they are. I made a mistake a while back. I stopped doing these and I've kind of missed them. I don't know why the views were actually always really good. There'd be some of them that failed, but the views, generally speaking, were quite good. Um, I've decided, you know what, these are actually kind of relaxing. Um, people enjoy them. A lot of people subscribe to these. This might not be the first video they watch, but this might have been why they subscribe. And I'm going to try to do one every single week. I've said that before and I've failed at it just because I get I get too excited with all my other ideas. Um, you know, I'm I'm one of those YouTubers who is never going to run out of ideas just because that's how my mind works. I've always got something else. I've literally planned all of my Let's Play series. I've got a list of everyone I want to do and it takes me up until 2021. That's how many Let's Plays I've got on my list. And that, that's just how my mind works. It's it's all on the creative and absolutely dull commentary. But <laughs> I wanted to... Why do we have... Oh, I think I've, I'm running a mod that adds catapults. I'll delete... You know what? If I bring catapults, uh, catapult peasants, I'll allow it. But, all right, so this is how it works. AI fights AI. Armies are chosen at random. And I've chosen right now one of, one of my favourite maps. And I've decided to have Barbarians versus Barbarians because I want to see a bit of, like, slaughter. Phalanxes at times can get a bit dull. Uh, so I think Gauls versus Germans would be uh, a nice test here. So what have they done to have? So, yeah, they've done to have a few of these onages here. You know what, I'll let them have it, if it works, that is. And I've given them a load of money as well, so they're really tough. Some Druids there. Uh, skirmishers, Archers. Yeah, quite a few Skirmishers there few druids as well and a lot of cavalry but it's not a big cavalry well it is for general cavalry the heavy cavalry you know what that that's an okay army for the gauls i guess and now it's time for the germans what are they going to bring um they've got some berserkers there only two units of those though um some axemen less cavalry but they've got some missile cavalry okay who's gonna win let's go and Let's take a look at this weird map. And here we are, the weirdest map there is, this massive lump right in the middle of it. I've always wanted to do an AI only battle on this, just to see how the AI is actually going to work, because both armies here should meet somewhere roughly. Um, actually, I might be distracting the AI, pull back just a little bit. I like to be kind of in the map still though, to see uh, faction banners and stuff like that. Okay, ooh, that... This hill here is going to make their catapults almost useless. I think the, G the Gauls have the high ground so far. Uh, German cavalry coming on the flank. Oh, but the Gauls might actually make it to the top first. I think I can move in just a little bit. Get some more uh, vision onto these. Alright, so the Germans are in. The Gauls get to the high ground first, but they're going to get slaughtered by the German cavalry. Oh, it's a spare unit. Oh no, don't chant at them. Kill them. I kind of want the goals to win if I'm being honest. Yeah, I want to see the goals do it. Oh, but the German cavalry is just getting them on all sides. In goes the general. We've got to be careful with the general though. I don't want to lose him very early on. I get a bit closer in. Oh, the goals. I went for the high ground, but somehow the Germans got up there first. And they're kind of having to pull back a bit. They're still up there. Their morale hasn't collapsed yet. Um, because of because they've all uh, got all the gold chevrons and stuff, uh, so they're at the maximum level they can get to. Uh, don't get too close. There, should be good. What we need to do is kill the German general. Oh, I forgot the Germans have phalanxes, don't they? Oh, well. Probably should have brought the British in or something. The catapults trying to fire, but I don't think they're going to get a good shot. Or if they do, it's just going to be friendly fire if they actually fire something. Uh, the Gauls have collapsed here as well. The Germans have gone berserk. The Gauls have broken here. Oh no, this is not looking good for the Gauls. What do we have? Right, we've got some skirmishers left. Oh, it's just skirmishers. This random berserker running around. <laughs> Let's watch him get some kills. Come on Gauls, you gotta kill it. There we go, we got him down. But the German general's weak. If I can kill him, they might be able to, they might be able to pull something together. Oh, the German cavalry! 
It's reached the onages now. I think that's going to be it. Yeah, the general's going to get there as well. He's not going to die to an onager unit. That's not going to happen. The phalanx is asked to help on the high ground. I think it's over. I think it's done. I think I can retreat from the map now. Well done, Germans, for getting the win. But high ground, it, it didn't mean much. I was hoping it would mean a bit more there, but... Oh, well. Yeah, there goes the siege equipment. They broke there, they broke in here. Oh, no, they're still fighting here, but it's only a skirmisher unit. An archer unit. The cavalry will cut them down eventually. And there we go, there goes the archer unit, and that should be victory for the Germans. No, they've still got some skirmishers over here. <laughs> Come on. They've not broken. Uh, otherwise, the battle would have ended by now. So they're still in the battle, they're just pulling back. <sighs> Come on, Gauls, just end it. There we go. Okay, so, overall, the Gauls got 536 kills, the Germans got 958. They had the... They had troop advantage with numbers, but maybe, I would say goals went for the tougher ones, but they filled up on skirmishes. That, come on goals, you could have done better there, I think. But well done Germans for getting the win. Okay, for this second battle, I've decided to give them a little bit less gold. 15,000. Uh, they've got enough to like get 20 troops in here, but they're not really done to afford these um, experience points. So the goals, uh, catapult units again. Yeah, I should have removed that, but oh well. Uh, again, they've gone for a cavalry focus, and the Germans. Uh, very similar army again, two berserkers, it's three berserkers this time, ooh. Alright, and we've gone for another unique map as well, South Water Map. Now, what I like about this one is the building that it has in the middle, so it's going to be interesting to see how the, how the AI is going to have to work around that. Same again, why am I doing the battle again? Well, I want to just... I want to just see if the Germans are just naturally stronger when it comes to their random armies. If the Gauls win this one, then we might do a third one just to see who's best. But if the Germans win, then I think it will be uh, quite conclusive which faction is best. Well, not best, but best at uh, when it comes to just random armies. I'd prefer to play the Gauls any day, I think, um, in campaign. Right, so there we go. The Germans got to the buildings first. It's always going to be a bit unfair. I think the Germans started a bit uh, close this time. But I think the Gauls started closer to the hill and the high ground last time, so... Okay, in we come. The battle begins. The infantry charges in, but they're going for the berserkers. They're the unit you want to avoid. Then the cavalry comes in and instantly breaks them. That just cuts straight through there. They've got to get their cavalry out of there. They've got the cavalry stuck on the flank. Oh, that's a bad start for the Gauls. The Germans have flanked around here. Oh, <laughs> I sh I'm sure the Gauls bring the most cavalry, but they don't use it that well. Uh, the Germans brought the cavalry around here. The Gauls focusing too much on this side, I think. Oh, they've gone berserk. But they need to go berserk in the right way. Otherwise, this could actually work out for the Gauls. Oh, they've lost the general. Oh. Well, well done, Germans. <laughs> I think it's already collapsed. And the Gallic General has died. Gallic General, I think. Yeah, there's not much to commentate here. The Germans have slaughtered them again. <laughs> Their skirmishers now are breaking. We've got the catapults over here. What what even is this over here? Uh, this is oh, some cavalry that pulled back that are rejoining. A little bit too late, I think. Yeah, the vault. These aren't even getting in a fight, but they're still pulling back. Okay, triple speed, and there they go. They're dead. Can we at least now? I don't say can we at least kill the German general, but nah. I think it's quite clear on the custom battle map, the Germans are going to destroy the goals every single time. <laughs> oh, that was fun. So yeah, that should be it now. The Germans should uh, just chase them down. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, <laughs> 122 kills um, and 766 kills. And they actually brought more troops that time as well. That was embarrassing for the Gauls. <laughs> as I was saying, hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next battle that I do. 
Um, as I said, I'm going to try and get an AI on a battle once every week. Each time it will either be unique factions, unique units, unique map. There'll be something about it that makes it not repetitive every single time. And yeah, I find these relaxing to record. I know people find them relaxing and funny to watch because how dumb the AI is. And I think it's nice to get back into them, uh, get back into these again. Um, I think that's everything. Subscribe for more. Share if you know anyone who would be interested. And goodbye.